Um, so, hey, tell me who you are and what you're doing. Uh, yeah, my name is Nolan. I'm with Power Coaching. It's my company. I'm an XPT coach and certified Wim Hof instructor. That's awesome. And so, so behind you here, you've got this pretty incredible rig. I'm very intrigued about this thing. Uh, tell me what this is and how you rigged it up. Yeah, this is a, a mobile barrel sauna. It has, um, for, it fits eight people. Yeah. Uh, this is my lovely wife, Amanda, who yeah. also does this work with me. Hi. And uh, we it built uh, this sauna from Nordic Sauna and put it on a trailer and take it around to different people, private homes, train teams, corporate people, all sorts of stuff. How did you manage to get a circular, like giant, you know, <laughs> what are we calling this? I'm not good at geometry. A, um, cylinder a giant cylinder <laughs> on a moving trailer. How did it, it I talked to a lot of construction people and some other people that have done it to figure out how to secure it all there. The sauna company wouldn't put it on there for some liability reasons. <laughs> Obviously. Uh, but yeah. it hasn't fallen off yet. So yeah. We're going strong. Lots of bolts. Yeah. And so <laughs> tell me what the, you know, what's the purpose? Um, you bring it to these uh, mobile locations and what are you teaching essentially? Yeah, we teach breathing and recovery uh, with sauna and ice bath for your health and performance. So we can help athletes perform better, be healthier, get injured less, and uh, the average person decrease stress and anxiety and have more energy at the end of the day for what they care about most. Yeah, and Amanda, you told, we were talking off camera that you're a psychologist, a therapist. Yes. Uh, how do you see this playing into, how does this complement what you're doing? Yeah, great question. I um, walk people through taking themselves on in new ways, and that could be, um, maybe trauma or just something difficult, anxiety, depression, fear. And when they get to learn how to breathe and connect with their body and have emotions flow through them as opposed to have emotions be stuffed down inside of them, um, it opens up new healing for them. Yeah. And so Nolan, um, we sort of got heat therapy and then we've got, you brought some of these buckets, but behind us, of course, we've got the Renew Therapy. Um, talk about the benefits of heat and cold therapy like what's actually happening in the body yeah uh, I mean the ice bath quick overview I mean you get hormone balance you just feel good afterwards because of adrenaline dopamine serotonin um, decreased inflammation heat you get cold shock protein in there which are just super good for decreasing inflammation and I think most of the reason I tell people we do the ice bath there's a whole bunch of extra medical stuff, but we do it because it's it sucks. Mm -hmm. It's challenging. It's cold every time. I've been doing it for five years, still cold. Mm -hmm. And we teach our minds and actually literally build new neural pathways to do challenging things and relate to stress and challenging challenges differently. Yeah, resilience training, I like it. Um, what is your recommendation then? Let's talk about like how long should I sit in this heat and then talk about the temperature that's happening inside. Yeah, this, this sauna, uh, it gets really hot. It's propane run, so it's over 200 in there. Uh, we do that for a reason in XPT. Above 200 degrees, we get uh, more human growth hormone production and extra red blood cells uh, from the heat stress we get. So that's why we like to do that. We're in there for like 10 to 15 minutes and we do rounds in the ice bath. So two to three minutes in the ice and then 10 to 12 here in the hot sauna and then we'll do that two or three rounds. And let's go back to breathing for a second. So how should I be breathing inside the sauna? Inside the sauna, that's a great question. It's just, it's a different type of stress, like the ice bath. Uh, so it's hot in there. It's not like a spa that most people are used to in their gym, the sauna. So uh, it's just real calm, de-stressful breathing. So I have people breathe in for a four count, out for an eight count, usually through their mouth in there because it burns your nose in the sauna. Um, but at, with practice, you can do it through your nose too. Is nose better? Is that preferred? Nose in general, when you're just every day doing things, yeah, ideally, yes. For, for health reasons, it shows that breathing through your nose is superior. It's okay. more efficient for our bodies. Got it. And then how about in the cold bath? So initially, you know, if you get in 40 degree water or 45 or 50 degree, you know, there's a shock and you have the, you know, tendency to, <gasps> you yep. know, gasp. Yep. So how should we be breathing? Maybe even, you talked about, um, ramping up into the moment even before it happens. Talk about that for a second. Bill, what's the temp on this right now? 43. Okay. 43 is cold. It's puckering. 
<laughs> I don't know the breathing technique yet. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Don't hold your breath. Son of a gun, man. You do this every day? Yeah. Yeah. You get addicted to it. Yeah. There you go. Keep breathing. Yeah. Deep breath. In and out. How is it? It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, breathing is unique in that it's the only thing that's both fully automatic, right? You alluded to that way we breathe when we get to the ice bath or shock and we have full conscious control over. So uh, that's just, we, we did Wim Hof method prior to getting into the ice bath that kind of just ramps us up, gets us like ready to take on challenges. Uh, actually with some, you know, chemicals in our body, it stimulates, actually decreases the pain um, of the ice bath as well. Um, so we ramp up our bodies and then we get in the ice bath and do the de-stressful breathing so that in the midst of a physical stress, we actually are de-stressing our bodies. And so we, we're catching it and taking control of our breath. So let's unpack that a little bit more. So how, like, let's say I'm about to go into the cold bath. I'm about to plunge. Um, how, how, how soon before should I be ramping up? Is this two minutes before, five minutes before, 20 minutes before? Yeah, that's a great question. I don't think you necessarily need to ramp up to ice bath. It's just how we actually go through it is what matters. Uh, Wim Hof is a specific method um, that pairs the breathing with the cold. And uh, I know Wim Hof practitioners, we don't always practice them together. So it, it really just kind of depends. It's making a conscious choice to get into the cold. And so you're saying, I'm choosing this, I'm slowing down my breath, and I'm doing this intentionally. And that's, that's the idea of, I think, ramping up. It's like, we have to choose it to yeah. make it more effective for our bodies. And then uh, let's go back to the specifics of breathing for cold versus hot. I mean, is it still nose breathing or is it? Yeah, still, still that de-stressful breathing, uh, in for four, out for eight, or in for six, out for, or sorry, in for three, out for six. Anytime our exhale is twice as long, it puts our body in a de-stressful state. So um, we want to do that in the cold, we want to do that in the heat. And then that translates to the metaphorical ice baths of our life. That's why it decreases stress. Can you give us a quick tour of this rig? Yeah, yeah. These are the, the fun uh, hats you wear, Russian sauna, banya hats that you get to wear that help keep your head cool while you're in there. So you wear one of these going in. And then uh, it's still pretty hot in there. Clear red cedar barrel sauna with, that's eight people. Yeah, water, put water on the rocks back in there to make the humidity go up, right babe? Yep. Cool, cool, cool. Was there any special things that you had to do in terms of the engineering of this or the construction? Walk me through, this must have been quite a project. Uh, yeah, the barrel sauna was a kit, so it, it put together pretty uh, it, by itself, actually. Uh, what I had to do was secure it to the trailer so it didn't end up rolling down the freeway. <laughs> um, so I just have uh, multiple beefy L brackets on the, the base there. Um, to secure it to the trailer, but that only secures the bottom part of the sauna to the trailer. So I put these straps over the top, which will secure it down to the bottom. Mm -hmm. So um, I, ha I haven't seen it roll down the freeway yet. So I think we're doing pretty good. Nice. And uh, is this your first time here at Tustin CrossFit? This is my first time at Tustin CrossFit. Joel's a old friend. And so, yeah, it's been fun to work with him. Well, what's your takeaway of the people here? Uh, great community, killer facility, and uh, stoked they have the Renew Tub here. Um, but yeah, cool, vibrant community that values not just uh, exercise and fitness, but their just overall health and being the best versions of themselves. Yeah. Do you know who Andrew Huberman is? Yeah, I do. So I just heard something he said recently, which was, I think he just said it like this last week, 30 minutes. Um, a week, I think he said. Accumulated, maybe, right? Accumulated, yeah. yeah. Of the sauna, basically, can cut your you know, risk of heart attack or heart disease by 
Yeah. Did you he, hear that? I did. Yeah, there was actually, he's probably referencing, there was a 20 year cardiology study done on the sauna uh, out of Finland, uh, Dr. Yari Yalkovich, I think. Uh, I butcher his last name, but uh, he did a 20 year cardiology study. I actually had a cardiac arrest in my early 30s, so this is really powerful to me. Um, four times in the sauna a week or more above 174 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes decreases chance of death by heart incident by 60% and decreases chance of all causes of death by 40% because they find that being in a sauna that hot for that long as far as your heart's concerned is a mild cardiovascular workout um, so it's, it's like a mild bicycle workout is what they equate it to Wow and so have you had any incidents since um, I, I have not. No, I, I got into this uh, in recovery and just trying to look to be the best, healthiest version of myself and wanting to live as long and healthy and active as possible. And so that's how I found all this work and it's been super helpful and got me off a lot of my medications and feeling great. Amazing.